What is up my peeps? Welcome back to the DIY van build. And this week, we're taking our doors from looking like this to looking like this. So stick around and we'll start from the beginning. And in the background, I'm also going through all these samples, trying to figure out what our cupboards and cabinets are gonna look like in the future on this build. And I'm in between these four here out of all the other samples I got. All the above sound like great names for inside of a van, right? We have winter fun. Winter fun, something I'm looking forward to. Weekend getaway. A weekend getaway is definitely one of those things. After hours, well, there's always the party after hours. And of course, the summertime blues. Summertime blues fits in because, well, we just missed a whole summer building this van. You know what I'm saying? Which one do you like best out of those four? Comment below, please let me know. But today we're gonna get these doors covered and I've gone through a ton of ideas on this, but if you remember from a few videos back and we did this sliding door right here, we did it with the white paint and the gray fabrics. And I gotta say, I was super impressed with the final result of it. So you might find that if you watched that video already, this might feel like a little bit of a repeat but because of the fact it's a different door, I do feel it's very important that we share this step along the way because it is a legitimate part of the process. And plus, well, hopefully you hear from my personality and not just the van build, because that's really gonna help us moving forward when the van build's complete, you know what I'm saying? So to complete this job, the first thing we need is some more of those flyers that they seem to keep leaving out on my front step. As well as some masking tape. And then we're just gonna mask off this whole area. Until it starts looking a little more like this. Now don't forget, we do need to cover off the windows, the door handles, and all the spots that have insulation, like this spot and this spot. And once we have done this to both doors, we're almost ready to paint. The reason why I say that is because when we cut these windows in ourselves a ways back when, we had to cut out all this circle here in which on a custom cutout, it leaves little grooves like these. And the reason is, if you see here when we were cutting it, these, pl these spots where the windows go actually had ribs going down through them. Now, I don't know how this differs from a van that came out of the factory with windows installed in the rear of it, but I know for sure when you do it yourself, you end up with these gaps that I'm showing you, and there's not a lot you can do about it. And when you want to trim these windows, that makes a serious problem because this part's so thin and then that part's so thick, it makes it so your 3H trim will fit everywhere except for those ridges or it makes it look really stretched out and it's caused me a major dilemma and I actually mentioned in the video you'll see around the edges it is still a little rough but I have a fix for that and you'll see it next week as well so now here we are addressing this problem so what I'm gonna do with this before painting is I'm just gonna take a standard pair of pliers and I'm gonna attempt to squeeze these together just to bring that gap a little closer so that when we do put our trim over top, it's gonna fit that much smoother. And we'll do it now so that if we scratch anything, at least we're painting over top of it. Now, unfortunately, there's no way of getting it absolutely perfect, but as you can tell, they're much closer together now than they were before we did it. And with that complete, now we're ready to start with the next step, which is actually making this thing look different by applying our paint, which is our bare alkyd satin enamel, which is an easy to clean melamine type finish. And to apply this finish, we're gonna use our Husky Airbrush Air Gun that we purchased when we did the sliding door. Pretty straightforward stuff. Now we'll make sure we shake this really good. Then we'll stir it really good. And then we'll fill it into our spray gun canister and we're ready to paint some doors. Now, seeing I did mention an airbrush, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. We are gonna need an air compressor as well. Now with that being said, we are ready to paint. And then we just continue that coat after coat after coat. And of course, I'm not gonna waste your time with that. But before you know it, you're gonna have some white doors and some free white nail polish. Don't you dare frickin' judge me. 
And plus, it's water-based, so a little bit of soap and hot water, and it all just washes right off. So if you didn't like it, now it's gone. So now, while this paint is drying, we're gonna get our panels all fixed up. So in this spot right here, there's a panel that came with the van, which is this panel right here. It has the hole cut out for your handle already that we covered in tape, and it just fits right into that spot right there. And on the other side here, it also came with a panel, pretty much the same without the hole for the handle, and it fits right into there. And we're gonna cover these the exact same way we did the sliding door. And I'll show you real quick in case you haven't seen that video yet. First thing you need is some fabric. Now the fabric is your choice, but what we went with is a gray tweed product that we got from a company called perfectfit.com. Second thing you're gonna need is some spray glue. We went with the LePage heavy duty glue, water heat resistant, and we just know it's gonna do the full job, no problem at all. Other than that, all you need is some scissors, and we are ready to carpet our panels. So we lay our carpet out, put our first panel over the top, Then we take our spray glue and we spray this part really, really good. And we spray the cloth really, really good. Now we let it sit for a minute. Okay, and once you know it's nice and tacky, we're gonna line up our edge. Bring her down. And we start straining it out. Once that's all down, flip it over. Make sure you're not putting your nice clean fabric on the sticky stuff. And fold your edges over. Just cut little triangles. And that way when it folds over, they have room to lie down on each other. So it doesn't all wrinkle up. Look how good that looks, okay? So now, for where the handle goes, we put it on its front side again. Take a nice sharp knife. Just gonna cut it from corner to corner. And the same this way, corner to edge, and then corner to edge. A little more glue on it, let it sit for a minute. Then once it's sat, then we'll pull this corner up, fold it over, pull this one up, fold it over. Might have to touch them up just a little bit here. Just like that. Fold this one up and over. And this one we're actually gonna cut off a bit. And we fold that one over. So now, when you see it from the front side, how perfect is that, hey? Okay? What? Now we just gotta put our mounting holes in. Which I showed you last time. We're gonna need a blowtorch and a nail. Look how perfect that makes those holes. You couldn't ask for better. You try and do that with a drill bit, it's gonna twist up all your fabric. So now, we've done that to both panels. We're ready to go throw these on the door. Let's get this done. So we have all our holes made, and this is gonna fit right onto there, just like that. First thing we need to do, is we need to pull this handle off. I'm honestly not sure if I'm gonna be able to share it with you, but behind here, there's a clip that you just gotta push with your finger. Whoops, I'm hitting you. And then the same on the bottom side. Okay, and then it just pops right out. Slide it through our piece. Okay, slide it back in place. Look like at that. Now we'll take our factory clips that look just like these. Maybe I'll do a little clip in right now. Now you know what they look like. So now we'll push them into the holes. And then once we've got them all in place, we just simply Oh, push the pins in, and boom. And the good thing is with the carpet, they fit so tight, that it does away the rattle that the original plastic panels did have on them. And that's what she looks like. Now we gotta look up, and we gotta do the top ones up there. And because those are so high up, it's way too hard for me to record. So I'm gonna click in some of our footage from our sliding door in which I took the blue tape, put it over top of it, found the ridge, and then cut around it, and we're left with a stencil that looks like this. See, it left us with a stencil like this, 
in which I was able to drill our little holes and it is on the plastic piece. So when we go back out to the van, you will see this stencil fits that spot perfectly. So now the second one's made, put it up. All of our bolt holes line up perfectly again. So now let's take it looking from this to looking like this. So now we just take our plugs like we did before, shove them in the holes. And just like that, we have a finished door, almost. And let me show you why. We're gonna install our weather trim for around the window. So this is a 3 8 U-channel window molding. And we're basically just gonna fit it down over the groove and all the way around the vent. So you're gonna wanna pick your end to start or finish at whatever point for you is the least visible. And for myself, it's gonna be at the bottom we're gonna have some benches in here which are gonna to come to where the bottom of the window is anyways so that's the spot where I'm gonna start pushing this down now we don't need to worry about this end we're gonna cut it when we're finished we're just gonna push this over those edges all the way around the window now you can see it's nice and clean all the way around the edges and just gives it a nice finished look so for the bottom to seal that up and make it look nice and clean you're going to notice there's little ridges on the top of this stuff so with these ridges there's metal plates inside which makes this strong so if you just take a good pair of scissors we're going to cut right between one of those lines and there she is that's the finished door Look how clean that looks. Hey, the whole door looks super clean. I don't know, I'm pretty impressed. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Here, actually, better idea. Have a closer look. You guys are all done looking at the doors, are ya? What'd you think? Did you leave a comment below? Sure hope so. But with that being said, I'm gonna continue on racking my brain as to what cabinet color I'm going with and start planning our next video for next Sunday. So, for us, that's another video in the books, another project in the banks. Bam! So if you made it this far, and if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe consider doing so. No pressure, of course, you do you, but it is completely free and it really does mean the world to me. If you have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, as always, we, we will see you next Sunday. Perfect.